Okay, uh, we're up to question three now in the June 2009 BY1 paper. Uh, this question is on uh, DNA uh, and RNA as well. Uh, the first question is asking you to draw a simple label diagram uh, to show how the three parts of a nucleotide are arranged. Uh, labels is in bold. Okay, so you will lose maybe about two marks out of the three if you don't label uh, the diagram. Okay, uh, so um, I've scanned in uh, a drawing uh, that I've done of a nucleotide uh, which I've labelled. Uh, typical diagram using basic shapes uh, there as I've done in the notes on this topic. Uh, the phosphate is the circle uh, which is always joined uh, to carbon 5. Okay, so that is carbon 5 on the uh, deoxyribose sugar. Uh, the nitrogenous base then is at uh, uh, carbon number one. Okay, um, so the nitrogenous base is shown as a rectangle. The deoxyribose sugar again is shown as the typical um, pentagon uh, shape there. Okay, um, so uh, drawing that will get you an easy uh, three marks. Right, on to part uh, two. Uh, how do nucleotides of RNA differ from nucleotides of uh, DNA? Uh, it's a two marker, okay, and again, this is just basic recall of facts, all right. One immediate difference is that RNA has the ribose sugar and DNA has the deoxyribose sugar. That will get you one mark. Okay, uh, the other difference is to do with the bases. Okay, in DNA, um, the nucleotide will have the thymine base, whereas in the RNA nucleotide, uh, you can only get the uracil uh, base. Okay, so there's um, two uh, immediate uh, differences there between DNA and RNA nucleotides. Okay, so uh, there's the answer there for uh, part two. Okay, moving uh, quickly on then to part B, we've got a, a nice uh, diagram there of the double helix of DNA. Okay, the coiled uh, structure, helical structure. Okay, there's uh, parts A and B labelled there. And uh, question uh, part one now, uh, what are the uprights of the ladder labelled A made of? Okay, so they're the uh, sugar phosphate backbone uh, of DNA. So they're actually made up of deoxyribose sugar uh, and uh, phosphate. And uh, the phosphate and sugar alternates, of course, um, uh, within that uh, sugar backbone uh, uh, of the um, uh, DNA. Okay, so there it is, deoxyribose and phosphate. Uh, part two then, the runs uh, are made of the pairing of components labelled uh, B. Name the components in their complementary pairs. Uh, so these uh, runs uh, are actually the bases, okay, um, and there are four bases, of course, thymine, adenine, uh, guanine, and cytosine. Uh, you do have to mention them in their uh, complementary pairs, though, so it's no good just stating the bases in any order. You have to put them in their pairs. Um, so uh, the pairing is adenine and thymine, and uh, if you remember from my notes, uh, adenine and thymine sort of spell out at. Um, okay, and the other base pairs are uh, G and C. Okay, um, so that's uh, an easy two marks there for that part. Okay, so I've typed the answer in there, and I, I've been... Uh, particularly careful to make sure the examiner understands uh, that I've got them in complementary pairing. What I've done is I've said adenine with thymine, okay, and then and cytosine with guanine. So I think that's quite obviously uh, stated in um, uh, the complementary base pairs there. Okay. Uh, last part then of uh, question three, uh, name the type of bonds that hold the pairs uh, together. Uh, one word answer really, uh, it's the hydrogen uh, bonds. Okay, and that's the uh, uh, the end of uh, question three. I don't think there's any need to do uh, the mark scheme for that. It's, uh, it's pretty straightforward with the answers there. Okay, thank you.